Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. We're back out here after it again today. And man, it is an absolutely gorgeous day to say the least, especially for the end of February. We're getting those like early, early spring vibes here in Tennessee. And that happens sometimes. And when that happens and these lakes start coming up, the spring stuff starts to happen. Even though these fish, you know, aren't completely there yet, you'll have that first wave of fish move up wanting to make some babies and we're gonna go try to capitalize on that today. We've got a full tank of gas in the boat. We're gonna run all over this place and see if we can catch some fish. And so that's the plan today. I'm so glad that you guys clicked on this video. We're gonna get out here, we're gonna get after it. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna shut up. Let's go fishing. I have no idea what this is, guys. But, I mean, I've caught some nicer spots. That's a bass. That's a bass. It's a freaking giant. Yep, that's a giant bass. Hey, hook. Hey, hook. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. What a giant. Wow. Wow. That is what I'm talking about right there, boys. Golly, look at that fish. What a stud. Early first spot, first cast. Four pounds right on the dot. All right, guys. Four pounds of solid brown right there. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Come on, honey, let's get you back. Let's get you back. You ready? There she goes. First cast, first spot. Four pounds. All right, boys and girls, it can only go up from here. I'll be honest, when I hooked that thing, I did not think it was a smallmouth. I thought that that was a freaking drum or something. Lord have mercy. Whew. That is definitely one way to start the morning with a four pounder right off the back. Caught him on the old money badger, of course. 6.25 size money badger. Switched up to the red and orange today um biggest reason being just the later we get in spring the more they seem to react better to the red than they do the super bright oranges and so yeah we switched it up today with the red and uh we're going to keep on throwing it today and see if we can get some more fish like that to eat because that fish i mean dog stomped the just absolute crap out of that thing that was an amazing bite. I really thought I'd hooked a drum or something and not a bass. That's by the way he just stomped that thing and then started digging. But yeah, that was an awesome bite. Great way to start the morning. We just gotta stay after it here and keep fishing for him because I mean, the potential today is huge. Uh, one thing that on these lakes, especially that happens is there's a time period in which these big fish move up and it goes from where you you know you're catching a bunch of males and a bunch of those like you know two to three pound fish where the big females those five 
and plus you know four to five pound and then you know north of that move up and start eating and so it's got to happen here in the next couple weeks especially with the big brown fish you know the water temperatures are getting right for them to want to move up and spawn and i think that's exactly what that was that i just caught was just a big female who was moving up getting ready to do the boogie and so yeah it's gonna happen it's just uh whether you're out here when it happens or not and i plan on being out here when it happens and hopefully as the day goes on the water warms up a little bit more and the wind blows just a little bit more more big fish like that start moving up and we can keep on catching them fish yeah it's a really good fish well, I don't need the boat flip him just realized he was hooked too guys a long skinny one right there he was as long as that first one we caught but just skinny but that's still about a two and a half three pounder zeros what'd i say two and a half pounds two eight there you go guys another beautiful fish long man see how long that fish is it's a good tournament kayak tournament fish I said that a lot over the last couple days i don't think that fish is every bit of yeah probably 19 inches because he's over my bumps 18 and he hangs over about an inch so thanks bud awesome 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 that's fun man. there's one thing that i think i've made pretty certain is they want the crankbait today I made my way all the way back in that creek, tossed a flipping stick around that waterfall to a spinnerbait for a few minutes, come right back out here on this main lake stuff, pick up a crankbait, and they bite. Now, all I'm waiting for is the freaking wind. If the freaking wind would like to pick up and start blowing, I think we're going to have us a really, really good day. We should have a front moving in. There's a big thunderstorm system moving in um, tonight into tomorrow. And so cloud cover should move in. The wind should pick up here in a little while and it should get really good. We just got to get to that point in the day where that starts happening. And then plus we'll just have that kind of afternoon wind that we normally have. So just got to keep our heads down and keep on cranking. Start heading up the lake here in just a minute. I'm going to start, uh, we'll make the big move here in just a minute. I just want to make sure that there's no fish sitting down here that want to make a mistake before I sit down and burn some gas. There we go. Got a tree. What a good one. Think you wanted it? Heck yeah. There you go guys. Not a giant but a quality little fish. He stomped that thing too. Heck yeah.
there he is. Oh, lay, that is freaking crazy. That's a good one, too. It's a large one. Shouldn't have boat flipped that. Come here, come here. Look at that little tub one. Heck yeah. That's crazy, guys. Every single point. If there's a point, there's a fish sitting on it. That's crazy. Oh, Archie, he's pretty, man. Look at the belly on that fish. Look at it. Old pre-spawn, feeding up. Absolute unit. Heck yeah, buddy. Thank you, man. Heck yeah. All right, guys, so the theory is on every point, there's a fish. We're going to go to that point and see if there's a fish. We're going to go to the next point and see if there's a fish. There has to be a point wherever there's a creek coming in the back. And my God, is there a lot of points on this lake with creeks coming in the back. Lord. That's another good one. Let's see what he weighs. He crushed that thing. I mean, dog stopped it. I'm going two and a half, maybe. Maybe a little bit more. He's, he's a hefty little fish. Dang, I'm good. Two seven. Another two and a half pounder. Absolutely gorgeous, man. Thank you, buddy. Big one. That's a really big one. Oh my god. That's a really good small mouth. Stay out of my trolling motor. Stay out of my trolling motor. Here, you're coming in the boat. <laughs> oh, lay, I shouldn't have boat flipped that one. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Threw my other dad gym pliers in the water on accident. I use these crappy rusty ones. <laughs> Look at that one, guys. Golly, that's another good fish. Man. Let's see what this one weighs. Zeros. That's almost a three pounder right there. Look at that, guys. Beautiful fish. Thanks, bud. All right, then. Let's see if we can get another one out of there. That's number two. Well, guys, there's two came off of that point right there. I could kind of tell by the way that that fish ran when I hooked him that there might be more than one fish there. And sure enough, 
there was two we've made several more casts back in there and not any more eat so we're going to keep on moving but golly i'm telling you y'all may be tired of the money badger but the fish sure ain't and so i mean that's just the way that this is i mean i'm gonna keep on throwing this thing until the cows come home i mean like that's just freaking ugh. This is my, one of my favorite bites in the whole entire world. The pattern today is points. Anywhere there's a main lake point that feeds into a pocket or a creek or something like that, those fish are sitting there. And, you know, honestly, it's not that big of a surprise, and it's something to look for this time of year because those creeks are just highways for those bass to be able to move from shallow water to deep water and back again they can move up there they can spawn they can feed they can do whatever they want to do and all they have to do is just follow that creek right back out to that main lake point and sit on that main lake point and it doesn't matter what the water depth does it doesn't matter what the weather is whatever it is they have access to shallow water they have access to deep water and then for the most part they're going to have food brought right to their face and as i've said before and i'll say it again bass are lazy they are opportunistic they don't want to track things down they just want to be able to eat and so those main lake points especially when the wind's blowing on them especially when the waters come up like it has when there's current all those different kinds of things they're the perfect home for a bass to live on and it's something to not look past this time of year because like you've seen today it's a great place to be able to just run from point to point to point pattern those fish and then be able to put some pretty good fish into the boat so that's the pattern for today it's really kind of simple um it's just burning through a lot of points until you find the right points and how the right points set up and from what i've seen so far anywhere that there's like a drastic um you know transition from shallow to deep you know real hard cut back into a creek um, anywhere it goes from chunk to kind of gravel rock that's where those fish want to be and so by all accounts there should be one sitting right here but i fished over a couple that look right but they must just not be exactly what those fish are looking for but we're just going to keep running points we're going to keep running points because one four pounder in the boat means that there's more four pounders willing to be caught somewhere probably sitting on a point and all you gotta do is keep a bait in the water long enough and hopefully you'll run into one So guys, this point right here is too rounded. That point back there was more defined. They wanna be on defined points. This right here is just, it's too rounded. And I, I don't know, I mean, maybe, well, maybe it isn't too rounded. No, nope, it ain't too rounded. <laughs> There's one. Where are you? That's another good one. Well, I stand corrected. It wasn't too rounded. <laughs> I thought I was hung. Nope, just right in the top of the head of a. Oh, another green fish. Only caught one today. There's number two. Oh, bud. Mm. Thank you, man. Thanks, bud. 
There's greenfish number two for today. That's good. I might caught me a greenfish today. All right. A little greenfish there. Stopped on this point. Just looked good as I was running by. You know, you ever do that? Just be running down a lake. Something just looks right. It's looked right. So stopped here and caught one. Not a big one. It was a fun little bite. I thought I was hung. I actually tried to pop it away from him and ended up popping it right into his face. One thing that's funny I've noticed is the direction. Um, you know, my gosh, that's just freaking big, whatever it is. Yep, big old small mouth. Yep, stop that jumping. Stop that jumping. Stop that jumping, yeah. Stop that jumping. Away. Probably shouldn't have boat flipped that, but there it is. That's a male. Look at him peeing. These fish are on the bed. I'm telling you, these fish are on the bed. But what I was saying is direction. You can switch directions and these fish will eat. So it's like if you're going and you catch one going one direction, don't not throw back in there the other direction. You know, just not like crazy directional change it's just instead of throwing directly at the point you throw across the point and that's what happened with that large one just now and then this dude i threw directly into the point let's actually get a weight on him because i'm telling you that's a male i am almost certain that these are males an old big linda i caught this morning she was a female these fish are on beds 11. That's awesome, man. Look how pretty that fish is. Heck yeah, bud. That's a green fish. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's freaking so much fun. Look at that. Two fish, two casts. Heck yeah. All right, let's see if we can go three for three here, folks. Three for three. Maybe, maybe not. Let me get back out here in a position off of it. Man, it's humming. Let's go three for three. That's one last we cast for. Let's see if we can catch three off of this thing. Number 
three off there. Let's see if we can do four off there. Come on, give me number four. Give me number four. Go, bro. There's number four. That's a better one. That's a good fish right there. Yeah, that's a large mouth is what it is. Let's get that big old freaking mouth open. <laughs> yep. Oh, it come off. <laughs> that's awesome. Woo! Look at that, guys. Look how beautiful it is today, man. Great day to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not just saying that because I'm catching fish. I'm saying that because every single day that I get up is a blessing. Because there's people who are taking their last breath today that all they wish they had was just a few more minutes. And if there's one thing I want you guys to remember from Alex Rudd, if you don't remember anything, number one, Jesus loves you. And number two, the currency that you have on earth is time. And so use your time wisely. Do things that you love with the people that you love and spend your life to the fullest. Love others just love deeply and that's it i mean if that's the two things that you can take away from me that's that's all i want you to know and it, just go out there and do it for me because i mean that's about all we need ladies and gentlemen that's about all we need i also need a fish to bite on this point so we're gonna go see if we want to bite on this point all right boys and girls we got just to get out of here uh we still got a couple hours until dark but we have got a heck of a storm on the way and you guys can probably see this cloud cover moving in probably hear the wind dad just called me and said it is gusting 35 40 miles an hour down at the house so that storm's starting to move in down at the house that means i've got about 45 minutes and then i'm going to be in the thick of it so uh we're going to haul some ass back to the boat ramp and we're going to get this boat up on the trailer and we are going to get out of here because I don't really feel like getting caught in a storm on the lake today. So yeah, we'll see you when we get back to the truck. There we go, boys and girls. I think we're gonna call that one quits for today. Man, I had some fun. There is nothing better than that pre-spawn crankbait bite. And when it comes together, it comes together like it did today. And man, we absolutely hammered them. And I had an absolute blast. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video make sure to go down in the description or into the pinned comment to check out all the gear that i was using i'll make sure and link rod reel line bait color size everything will be linked down there so you guys can go check it out but as always you guys are sweet and thank you for watching